Topping your news today, a fiery crash involving an 18-wheeler, a minivan, and a Nine injured, five in critical condition after a semi-truck loses control. In the aftermath of a wreck with a big truck, the victims are consumed with grief, anxiety, and concern about survival and medical care. Often, there's no time to consider the mounting medical bills, funeral expenses, lost wages, and the future physical, emotional, and financial consequences. While the victims at the scene are struggling to survive, the truck owner and operator and their insurance carrier have already launched into immediate action to defend themselves. They're out to win against every claim and gain an overwhelming advantage in the civil justice system over victims who are not adequately represented in a timely fashion by a lawyer who specializes in trucking cases. As soon as a crash occurs, the driver of the truck is trained to call first, not 911, but to call the dispatcher, who in turn calls the trucking company and their insurers, and they send out the defense crash team to the accident site. Their purpose? Gain early access to the evidence, including contents of the trucking compartment, the logbooks, maintenance records on the tractors and trailers, witness statements, and documenting physical evidence such as skid marks, debris, and property damage, and most importantly, immediate access to the onboard computer data. It's imperative that victims, through their attorneys, do the same. We accomplish this through our own crash team, including an onboard data specialist, a trucking accident investigator, an accident reconstructionist, forensic photographer and forensic videographer, and trucking industry expert. All of whom go to work to preserve the evidence so that the truth of what actually happened will ultimately be known and those responsible brought to justice. Building a successful case against a trucking company involves jumping over three hurdles, liability, causation, and damages. Liability means we have to show that what they did was wrong. Second, we have to show how their negligent conduct injured the victims. And third, and most importantly, how to maximize recovery for past, present, and future damages. In our cases, we examine closely driver conduct and qualifications, training, vehicle maintenance and its design, and we often implement state-of-the-art graphics and animation. We link defendant negligence with what happened. And we fully develop our claim to damages including medical care, lost income, physical pain, mental anguish, physical disability, and physical disfigurement, all recoverable elements of damage. In a case we resolved, a family was devastated by a collision with an 18-wheeler. A child was killed, other family members were severely injured, including a young girl who suffered a traumatic brain injury. This is a revolutionary brain mapping technology that was employed in this case, which dramatically reveals gaps in her neurological function. If a victim's case is handled correctly, most likely the defendants will be highly motivated to enter into settlement negotiations. But not all cases settle. And if we are unable to reach a resolution that satisfies our clients, we are ready to go to trial. I tried my first truck wreck case 45 years ago, and I've tried a lot of them successfully in the last 45 years. And we're ready to go to trial in your case if successful settlement negotiations cannot be reached. In a recent trucking accident case where there were devastating injuries to a family, my client was talking to the doctor and to me, and he thanked the doctor for rebuilding the bodies of his family, but he thanked us for rebuilding their lives.